Sami Zayn turned on the bloodline at the Royal Rumble in a way that most wrestling fans will never forget. I'm a Q for Real Take Wrestling. Let's talk about it. Sami Zayn, the honorary Us, Sami Uso, some were calling him. They won't call him that no any longer. When tasked with taking a steel chair to his prone, handcuffed friend Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn said no, and instead, with the entire bloodline around him, decided to attack the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, taking a steel chair to the back of the Universal Champion, while Jey Uso looked on in horror, while Paul Heyman looked on in horror, and while Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso unleashed an attack that was pretty brutal considering the way the storyline has played out, right? I mean, this legitimately was, because after the match, obviously, I mean, Kevin Owens, spoiler alert, <laughs> lost the match. Uh, Roman Reigns retained, but after the match, we saw Roman inflict punishment on Kevin Owens, and then he delivered, he, he made Sammy take one final test of loyalty for the bloodline. Sammy, of course, as I explained earlier, refused. And afterwards, when Jey Uso was beating down Sami Zayn, when Solo Sokoa delivered a Samoan spike to Sami Zayn, everyone looked at Jey. Jey Uso in the corner with a, a very reluctant, hesitant look on his face, frustrated, conflicted, rolls out of the ring, just trying to process what just happened. And walks away. Doesn't attack Sami Zayn. Walks away. The bloodline is broken. And this is... I, I know that WWE for a very long time didn't get a good rap when it came to telling long-term storylines. This was special. Like, this... This whole saga obviously has been one of the best things in wrestling in recent memory, but this moment right here was something that I will legitimately like look back on, and I'll remember exactly where I was, who I was with, when Sami Zayn turned on the bloodline. When Sami Zayn took back his name, took back his, his friendship, and then everything that came with it, right? I'm going to remember exactly where I was. Like, it's, it was that cool. And you can tell by, like, this even screenshot. Look at Jey Uso's face. He's just, it's pure shock. I mean, look at Roman Reigns' face. He's like, it, it's, it's the epitome of that Booker T uh, line. Tell me I did not just hear that. Like, right? Or whatever. Or see that. I mean, this, like, it was great. The acting was, uh, it was superb. The, the, the way... That we're just waiting. Like, I don't know why Jey Uso was so conflicted. Like, I mean, obviously they told the story of of Sami Zayn and Jey Uso growing closer and closer together. But you still, at the end of the day, expected Jey Uso to, you know, attack Sami Zayn. So now you're wondering, what's going to happen? How are they going to develop this? What's going to happen within the bloodline itself now with the members that are left? There's so much to be played out here. There's so much time till WrestleMania. And let me just say this, because I know, look, Cody won the Rumble. I'll talk about it in my review tomorrow. Cody won the Rumble, Rumble, and and everyone's expecting him to be the one to, to dethrone Roman Reigns, and that's fine. The One of the loudest pops I've heard in recent memory was when Sami Zayn finally hit Roman with that chair. Like That was 63,000-plus in the Alamo Dome going absolutely insane. The face to face, nose to nose, just, just uh, tussle or whatever you want to call it between Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns. It felt big to me. Again, I've been a Sami Zayn. I've been a, an El Generico fan for a very long time, so maybe it's just me. I still think that there's room to potentially do a a title match with Sami and Roman. You don't necessarily need to have Sami win, but. I think that there is a one-on-one. -on -one. Like, there has to be. At some point, he's got to face him. 
Like, the, I don't care what happens with the tag team titles and all that. That's sure part of the storyline. But at some point, he has to face Roman Reigns one on one. Like that, like even if it's not for the title, even if it's like a like they want to do like a lights out, like you know, an unsanctioned match. I don't care. Do it because th there has to be a finality to these two as well because these have been the two biggest components of this entire storyline. Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn. That relationship is what has captivated the entire wrestling world for the past year, nearly. So, I mean, it, it is. It's crazy. It is crazy how like pro wrestling can just just make us feel, you know, like this was soap opera. Some will say it was cinema, um, whatever. Uh, but it, it was it was so cool. It was so cool. The crowds at one point started chanting. Um, I'm not going to say it, but tuck you, Roman. They did not say tuck. Um, and it was it, it was pretty funny, but it happened. We'll see what happens on Raw. Guys, let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments section below. Be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.